We've seen a lot of movement in both the House and the Senate as it relates to the sales tax fairness issue. We've seen a change in the way shoppers shop today, much more online sales versus uh, bricks and mortar. And the issue today is that online retailers are not collecting sales tax on those purchases, which puts the Main Street retailers at a disadvantage. Cyber Monday sales were up 30% this year, and this is the first year that Cyber Monday sales have actually exceeded Black Friday. So it's increasingly important to put a tool in the hand of local governments to be able to collect sales taxes on those purchases made on the Internet. And there are bills in both the House and the Senate that have bipartisan support to correct that issue and to make it possible for that sales tax to be collected. ICSC and the National League of Cities have been working on this issue for a number of years and the key issue in getting this legislation passed is to level the playing field and create a competitive level playing field between the Main Street retailers and the online retailers who currently have an unfair advantage because you can buy for less on the internet because you're not paying the sales tax. And in addition to that level playing field, it's also going to increase income for local governments and help them with their current operating budgets and the services that they provide the citizens in their cities. Yes, it's always important to write letters and make phone calls to members of Congress, but what we're seeing is they're all a lot more computer savvy now and they're all out in the Twitter sphere. And that is the place to actually get the public engaged in the discussion on this issue. So what we're asking the members of the National League of Cities to do is send tweets to members of Congress in support of this e-fairness issue and to use the hashtag e-fairness in their tweet to let them know how important this issue is to the cities and to the Main Street retailers and their communities. And for cities who want more information on the issue before they send the tweet, they can go to our website, which is 21st, 21stCenturyRetail.org. And we have actually even created a tweet generator there with a drop-down menu. So if they put in their state, then it will drop down their legislators, and it will actually generate the tweet and they just have to send the send but hit the send button and it'll send the tweet. So we couldn't have made it easier for them and we just ask everyone to please get behind this issue and this tweet campaign.